Hey fishing friends, welcome to this week's vlog. The most requested topic this week was rod choice. In fact, most folks are just really kind of asking the question, can I get by with just an all-purpose rod? And, and there's a real simple answer to all that. Somewhat yes, but it limits you in so many ways. And I like to compare this. Every time somebody asks me this question about rods, I have a real simple answer. And it is, do you golf? Okay, just think about that. If you golf, can you get by with one golf club? No. You can make some shots, but you can't make them all. And in the world of musky fishing, but it does pertain to bass and, and other species as well. But in the world of musky fishing, it's really the same thing. You think about the wide variety of lure weights. Don't even think about actions and, and all the different you know, things we do with lures and running depths and all the others. You just think about lure weights in the musky world. Lure weights in the musky world vary from three quarters of an ounce up to a pound. A pound, 16 ounces. So can one rod throw all those lures? No. Can wolf, one golf club do you, you know, in, in, in the golf game, will that, will that suffice for all the different shots you have to make, long and short, and all the different variables and situations you deal with? That's why you have a bag of golf clubs. That's why you need a selection of rods. Now, do you need 12 rods or 15 rods or 20 rods? Well, no. Um, but you do need a selection. And in the musky world, you need a pretty good selection, you know, just really to, to encompass all the variables in lure weights you're going to use and really also, you know, the, the actions of the, of the baits and, and, and the techniques you're trying to manipulate. So with that in mind, what, I, what I'm going to discuss here is really, and, and you're going to see graphics pop up, but what I'm going to discuss here is really how to select a good small group or you know a must-have selection of rods and this will vary a little bit with with your technique and your favorite techniques and the bodies of water you fish you know but they're in, in my world you know that i have probably probably six maybe seven musky rods that i use and probably four of them i use the most and and it does vary with certain situations and and, and certain bodies of water in certain times of the year just like the golf game does okay and, but, and when we when we talk about this, I think what's really neat is that St. Croix has really, you know, my, my, my great friends from St. Croix, St. Croix as a company, St. Croix as a team of professionals, St. Croix as a technology company, and at us, utilizing the advice of their professionals, the, the pro staff that they deal with, in all assets and all, you know, all avenues of fishing, including the musky world, they tap into our needs, our wants, our techniques, our tactics, and and the situational things that we face we're faced with. And you know, the then again, the musky world is dealing with a three quarter ounce lure and a sixteen ounce lure. So you know, we have the rods vary incredibly. Saint Croix has been you know really the standard and the leader in developing a huge family of rods for the musky angler alone. And we're going to dive into this in a second. And also, you know, various price points to meet all your different needs. You know, it's uh, it's really cool. In fact, you know, I, I love it that their, their new Mojo Muskie lineup, their, their, their kind of their, you know, their, their rebooted uh, Mojo Muskie is really awesome. I mean, you talk about a large selection of stuff that's got the cosmetics and, and the ergonomics and everything you need in, in, in a Muskie. They're at an affordable price. This this mojo must this new mojo musky is is pretty awesome and I'm going to be fishing with that that line a lot. Now, beyond price point, let's just talk functionality of rods and you know what are the rods that I use? Okay, well you think about it. I fish with everything from a three quarter ounce three quarter to one ounce JB Rattler, a lipless crankbait, to a um, six ounce glide raider. Some of my friends are fishing with, you know, with big rubber baits that are far heavier than the glide raider. So that takes a wide, you, here's where I'm going. You cannot use a, for example, a St. Croix Musky Downsizer 710 um, that's designed for these smaller lures and say, oh, that's my all-purpose rod and then pick up a glide raider and throw it. 
it's not going to happen. At the same, th you need a, you need an extra heavy rod, and at the at the same time, this is this is where I'm going with the extremes in 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 lures and techniques and why you need a selection. At the same time, you pick up a, a, a an extra heavy fast uh, mojo or elite or tur musky tournament of the Saint Croix, and try to throw a three quarter ounce lipless crankbait on it. And it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So you need the selection of rods for the situations. Here's my, my favorite selection of rods. And again, this is for the way I fish. And for you, you may vary a little bit depending upon your techniques and your situation. You may need less rods if you only fish with a few lures. You may, may need an additional rods to the rods that I've suggested because you fish more heavy rubber, for example. Okay, St. Croix has it all though. St. Croix has it all, including telescopics. Which you know, even even where you where you where you run into uh, you know travel issues with uh, rod length <coughs> and storage and airplane travel, all the stuff they got. Musky Saint Croix even has has a great selection of new telescopic rods, especially in the Mojo lineup. So here's here's my selection. Let's go from small to large lures. As you probably know by by this point, that I had a shoulder injury a few years ago, and I really had to downsize for a few years. And it really was, it's really kind of cool because, you know, I grew up as a bass fisherman. So taking my bass game back into the muskie world, I kind of, I really kind of stumbled on muskies as a bass fisherman originally, kept hooking muskies while I'm bass fishing and not landing some of them and getting fortunate to land a few of them on bass tackle. But uh, when I had to downsize because of a sh shoulder, in, because of shoulder injury, I couldn't throw big blades, couldn't throw heavyweight lures because of the shoulder. So I really had to go to modified bass tackle and really, you know, kind of oversized bass lures for muskies. And initially that was a, that was an issue because it was it was an issue because there wasn't really a musky design series. So I was tapping into St. Croix's large selection of bass rods to take care of my musky needs, and it worked. And my friends from St. Croix didn't take them long like they do with everything else to react to this whole downsizing situation and go, hey, we built all these heavier rods for these extra heavy rods and these beefy actions for all these really large uh, rubber lures and these real heavyweight lower rubber lures. How about going the other way and building a downsizer series, which they did. The two main rods I use in, in St. Croix's downsizer series, and I, you know, I take a lot of pride in the whole downsizer series because it, it took care of my shoulder issue, and it bought a, pro a product out to the marketplace that I've encouraged my, my friends at St. Croix to do, and they've done it successfully, and they've got a great series. The two, the two actions that I use in the Downsizer series the most, there's two rods. One is their nine footer, their nine foot medium light, and their 710 medium fast. <clears throat> Those two rods, in fact, you know, you know, the one is called the Twitch Stick. The 710 is probably overall my over my, my favorite rod. And I use those these two rods for these situations. I use that nine foot medium light, which is <clears throat> called medium light. In the musky game, it is a medium light. You know, in the bass game it wouldn't be, but in the musky game it's a medium light. <clears throat> it's for throwing small lures. My favorite my favorite situation for the nine foot medium light. It, and this started, by the way. With a prototype for a number of years, I used this rod, and people saw it on the air, and they go, man, that rod bends, really bends on, on fish. And I was using it with blades and with small crankbaits. It is my, it is my depth rater rod. It really is my depth, my six inch depth rater rod. I can, I can just wrist flick that bait, and it goes a country mile. I can do these incredible figure eights with it. And it has this, this bend, this almost a parabolic action. So when you hook a fish on that, on that rod, you pretty much own them. And you'll see me catch countless fish. If you just visit my YouTube channel, you see me catch countless fish on both the prototype and now the, the production model of that, of that nine foot uh, downsizer. That is one of my favorite rods. What I like about that rod is that it is like the rod for those small treble hook lures, small treble hook crankbaits, like the six inch depth rater with three small trebles. It, you own them. You're not going to put pressure on those small trebles. You're not going to wear those. You're not going to bend the hooks. You're not going. To, you know. You're not going to have any straightening out or any ripping free kind of thing. Once you get the hooks into that fish, and you can and you'll easily do that because it's like an oversized bass rod. It would make a great big bass rod, by the way. And I do intend to try that in some situations for bass and big pike. What this rod will not do 
And this is important to note just when you go on the extremes on the heavy side or you go on extremes on the light side. You cannot throw you know, tr traditional conventional musky lures with that rod because it doesn't have enough hook set power. You'll find that out right away unless you're just a monster hook setter that you know can really lean on those fish if you're using larger treble hooks on even seven inch baits with two you know with larger treble hooks either a single treble hook bucktail or or a uh, even a, a a two hook crankbait or two hook jerkbait it, it's not going to work with that rod because it, it doesn't have the horsepower set the hook the rod was made for small trebles so use it only for that purpose you know small uh, the, that four five six inch lure that has the three small trebles, perfect. You know, uh, lipless crankbaits with one odd, two odd, three odd, uh, light light wire uh, trebles, perfect, perfect. The other downsizer rod I use, probably more than any other rod, is the 710 Twitch Stick. I'm telling you right now, I've told you many times on my TV show, if you don't have a 710 Twitch Stick and you fish 5-inch, 6-inch, 7-inch minnow baits, just that bait, just that bait, little jerk bait, same thing. You're missing the boat. This this rod is so dynamite for this style of fishing, and I've caught monsters as well as just numbers. I've caught so many big fish on this bait, on this rod, excuse me, including, you know, recently the Storm Titan. The Storm Titan was caught on a 710, 710 twitch stick. So I use that rod a lot because it's so light, uh, it's so effortless to cast, it's so effortless to bake the twitch baits and, and, and do all kinds of, you know, neat little things with it. You don't have to pull your, or jerk like a traditional jerk bait guy does with that twitch bait rod. You just dink, 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 it gets, you twitch it. It's, it's made for twitching. So those are the two downsizer rods I use the most. As we move up in lure weight, and we move up in hook size, that's two big things, hook size. Now, when you do that, you've got, you've got a fish with a, with a rod with more horsepower. That's when I go into, for example, seven inch depth raider. I mean, excuse me, seven inch uh, booker tail. So, seven inch booker tail, um, you know, the eight inch depth raiders, um, seven inch, seven and a half inch shallow raiders, and lures of that category. That, that seven, that, that, you know, that six to seven, seven and a half, eight inch lure, uh, it, medium heavy, medium heavy, extra fast, eight and a half to nine foot rod, supreme. Just supreme. Now, by the way, the length of rod, let's just stop right there for a second. Length of rod is important in today's world for two things. Most importantly, extra rod length makes your figure eight superior. And for that reason alone, for that reason alone, you should fish with the longer rod because it literally, the longer eight and a half to nine foot rod will double your catches because so many muskies follow and you can get them at both sides to trigger with the longer rod because you make bigger, rounder, you know, more perfect figure eights with it. And after you hook the fish, as soon as I hook a fish, I'd much rather have a nine foot rod in my hand than a six, for example, a six and a half or a seven foot rod, because it just, it, it battles the fish better. So you need longer rods. But in that, in that, you know, all purpose fishing, if you're just a blade guy and you like to fish the seven inch, eight inch style blade, like, you know, like, like our original Booker tail, uh, the five inch, the five-inch, uh, 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 five-hundred Booker tail uh, tinsel that's so popular today. That's that's you know designed a little heavier, heavier hook, heavier weight, perfect with the for the, for the traditional eight and a half to nine foot medium heavy musky rod. And again, Saint Croix has has that action. And the actions I'm talking about has it in in, in a variety of of rod families according to and it, that fits a, a variety of, of budgets including really high-end stuff like the legend elite which i love that legend elite by the way in a nine foot medium heavy eight and a half and nine foot medium heavy that nine foot medium heavy legend elite is an elite rod it, it's 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 a rod i probably you've probably seen me catch more big muskies on that rod on seven inch shallow raider jointed you know it's just a crankbait rod it's a great seven inch to eight inch blade rod. Um, it's it, it's gonna perform a figure eight su superbly. And I like the medium heavy, by the way, uh, because you, it, the rod loads more on the cast. You know, the, 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 the heavy is for heavier baits. So, you know, if you're gonna fish larger blades, then you go to the eight and a half heavy. If you're gonna fish, you know, double eights, double tens, 
you need to go to heavy. If you're going to fish sevens and eights, and you want that rod that'll take both the sevens and eights, the medium heavy is going to it's going to cast nicer. It's going to fight fish better. It takes a little bit more hook set. Um, you know, to keep your hook sharp and, and load up on your hook sets good. It's the, the by the way the the medium heavy in, in the eighty six and the nine foot is just deadly on battling both side strikes. It really you know with with that stuff with that lure class that seven inch lure class plus or minus seven inches. It just you own them and you want rod bend. Once the hook set, you want rod bend because then you don't put stress on the fish. You keep more of an even pressure on the fish, and uh, you keep a lot more of those fish hooked at both sides with, uh, with the medium heavy. Now, as you go up in bait size, up in bait weight, you need to go to heavy. Okay, so once you get to, for example, in the musky world, you know, the, the big bait in the musky world is the double eights and the double ten blades. Um, a lot of the top water lures, you know, from the top raider. Top raider can be fished on a medium heavy, by the way, very, very, pop, very, very easily. But when you using some of the other tail rotating prop style lures that are a little heavier than a top raider, you might need to consider the heavy, the eighty six heavy. You know, it's often called the sling blade. You know, it, it was called the sling blade in the tournament, in the musky, in the legend musky tournament uh, class. But it's just basically the eighty six heavy. Eighty six heavy is a great double eights, double tens, top water rod. It's also a really good rod and my preferred rod for bigger crankbaits, that eight and nine inch class crankbait. I'm fishing like this big shallow raider, the big magnum shallow raider, depth raiders, you know, the bigger depth raiders. A lot of times I'll fish the big depth raider and the definitely the magnum shallow raider. I will fish on that medium, the, on that 86 heavy, 86 heavy, 86 heavy. Now, it's jerkbait time. As soon as you go to jerkbaits, as soon as you go to jerkbaits, I'm, I'm of the old school that as soon as I go to jerkbaits, I want extra heavy and I want shorter length. And the reason I go to extra heavy is, again, with these bigger jerkbaits, is they're heavier. And to throw them, you're almost heaving a big... Once you get to that size of a lure, it's no longer a load and throw like it is a smaller bait. It's a heave of the bait, you know, because the rod isn't bending that much. You don't want the rod to actually load too much because, it, you know, it's the bait's too heavy. So you just want to get that bait swinging and then you just heave the bait. You just heave the bait. All these baits from this class on, when you start getting into these larger glide baits and into the big heavy rubber, you, 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 you load and you heave. You don't you don't do a you don't have that snap like you do with pretty much all the other other lures. So that's where the the extra heavy comes in. And my favorite rods for jerkbait fishing are you know that seven two to seven that seven two seven six seven nine extra heavy. And the length of the rod it depends on the angler. You know they're they're you know I like the shorter sticks for that because I can I do more of this kind of stuff. You know I can jerk jerk and then I'm going to do and I can create little small with a real heavy rod with a large or long rod it's all about you know this kind of stuff and you can't do much else with it so I do like you know the, the shorter rod for and an extra fast you know that that, that medium heavy or excuse me that heavy extra fast or that extra heavy fast action it gives you that it's a, it's a fast tapering tip and it gives you that really your responsive tip and you know it, it it and the other thing too by the way is tip bend you know some folks that are looking for that all-purpose rod will try to fish a for example an 86 heavy or even a nine foot heavy with a jerkbait it works it'll work okay in some of them in fact some guys are you know some manufacturers are even building including sinker are building nine foot extra heavies and they're working jerk baits with them, and if that works for you, that's fine. But you got to remember that, you know, as soon as you go to long rods, they're better at the boat. Yes, you know, they're better at figure eights. They're, you know, they're, they're, there's there's some better hook sweep. You know, for uh, for long casts and a, and a strike at, a, at long range. Yes, but for doing this, you know, you know, I do with a glide rider, for example. I'll do a, I'll make that glide rider go boom, boom, then I go. Doom, 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 doom. I can't do that with a nine-footer. 
You could do it for an hour, but you can't do it for 10 hours. Okay, with a seven and seven two, seven and a half, seven nine, yeah, you can go doop, 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 and it go doo, 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 doo. And that's sometimes what it takes to make a fish bite. So again, it's a perfect, you know, it's, it's a golf club for the situation. So, you know, if you're one of those, one of those anglers fishing nine uh, extra heavies with jerk baits and you're having success doing that, and you do more of a pole sweep kind of motion, and you're successful with that, hey, that's great. Then you get to those rods and that class of rods, and I'm not using that much, <clears throat> that are fishing those really heavy lures. And those, you know, those are those the, the bigger rubber baits today, the pounder kind of stuff. Um, big, big soft plastics, you know, that are really heavy, require a really large rod. And they require the really large rod for two reasons. One is to get that long heave of the lure, and the other one is, is that there's this big sweep that you're using in the action of the lure. There's a long sweep. And the third reason, and maybe the most important, is because these fish grab a hold of that soft plastic or that rubber, when they grab a hold of it, you need such an incredible amount of power and hook set and drive that you need that extra sweep with that extra heavy rod just to get the hooks into those fish. And, and that's the perfect golf club for that situation. Yes, that's why they build them. You know, and if you look, if you think about what, everything I just talked about, wrapping it all up, it's really simple. You, you, need, you need a whole bag of golf clubs if you're gonna, you're gonna play the whole course. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna be a wide ranged angler, if you're gonna be a versatile wide range angler fish a wide variety of baits, you need a wide variety of rods. If you're gonna narrow down to just a couple of things you do well, you, you need less rods. Generally on the deck of my boat, and you probably can see it in a lot of my videos, photos and stuff you can see, generally on the deck of my boat, I've got probably four rods pre-rigged. And it's probably a 710. It's probably a, a nine, those two downsizes, the nine and the 710 twit stick, okay? There'll be a nine foot medium heavy, There'll be a 86 heavy, so now we got four rods up there, be an 86 heavy up there. That 86 heavy will probably have double 10 or a big shallow rater on it, a magnum shallow rater. Um, and then there'll be a jerkbait rod up there. And that will be a, a 7.2, a 7.6, or a 7.9, depending upon the rods I'm using. You know, I like that Legend Elite, the Legend Elite and, and the Legend Tournament, you know, the jerk, what they call the jerk. Uh, in that extra heavy seven, that 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 rod is made for glide raiders, big jerk baits. So those I probably have those five rods. Those five rods will be on my deck: the seven ten, the nine foot medium light, the nine foot medium heavy, the eighty six heavy, and finally extra heavy jerk bait stick. Those five rods are pre rigged on the deck of my boat. And, in any, and even when I'm fishing with 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 uh, with Chaz and with Tyler, um, and we're filming and whatever, and, and any of the guests in the boat, they'll probably grab one of those rods because they're pre-rigged with one of those lures. And and that gets me, you know, for my style of fishing, that gets me from three quarters of an ounce, JB Rattlers, you know, in that in that into that two ounce range with you know with a, a little depth rater and five inch shallow rater, all the way up to the six ounce class glide where it gets me all the way through that and that that encompasses most of the baits in my tackle box and that's the, that's an easy approach to the way I, I build my rod selection in my boat the way I choose rods and if you just think about it folks if you think about it in terms of golf clubs if you golf if you need a selection of golf clubs to play a whole course you need a full selection of rods to really take on all these different situations you might be faced with on any day of musky fishing hope you enjoyed this week's show Thank you.